All right, we're going to be doing a uh, little five box run here from the blaster case. Um, I think I'm going to leave these in the backdrop. Got five fresh ones here from the case. And we're going to do it very similar to the Stadium Club case that we recently did. Um, I'll s uh, one more part. I think uh, part eight of eight is tomorrow that I'll put up. Just trying to space them out every day in between. And um, yeah, so we're gonna do five at a time. Um, I've got 30 left in this case. If you saw my live, which I'm gonna have to somehow create into part one of this. So I'll probably just start off with this as number two uh, in an eight part series. So I think it's gonna be kind of fun to do it that way. And uh, we're gonna rip five here today and see how we do. Um, the first 10, the reason I did 10 out the gate was to compare roughly the 300 value to a cost of a hobby box. So just to see what's better and I'll have some stats on that. Um, and I did grab these at random out of a case, tried to mimic, you know, what you'd see if a vendor came out and unloaded a full case, put it on the shelf and you walked up and bought, you know, 10. All right. So we're going to rip through the base pretty quickly. But uh, Gorman and the spotlights. We'll do paper, we'll do base, we'll do inserts, and we'll do chrome. So everybody's underway with Bowman 2023, and um, averaging about one of these, uh, not average, I should say, they're pretty much mostly in there, The uh, these lunars in the back here. Osorio. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. I got the uh, Indians game on in the background. The Lays Jordan. And, uh, yeah, everybody's doing a lot of ripping. Been seeing some really nice stuff pulled out of here, so let's try our luck. There's uh, Jackson and the Spotlight. So that's pretty good, considering those are not... Uh, out of the inserts, that's the hardest insert to pull. Uh, as far as how often it is. It's not super rare, but it's just um, you have to open up more product to get it. So I necessarily wouldn't call that rare, and it is the most desirable out of the insert sets from this release. Uh, do we have a paper here? Paper, paper. Yes, we do. We have a sky blue, I believe. Those are the 500 in the paper. So there's Lawler, number eight, in the top 100 prospects. Lugo. Larte, more base, and Javier Baez is holding up, a Padre, Juan Soto, I think that's the second Soto I have, it is, of this exact card, okay, so there's a Soto, my, how everybody panics when Soto's playing bad, then they interview him, like, for a two, two week stretch that he was really bad, maybe three weeks, and then, um, yeah, he just was not hitting the ball well. Post-game interview, not sure what was said. Because we only get a snippet of that information. And then, uh, yeah, he goes off and he's just been killing the ball. So don't give up on these guys too easily. The guy's really, really young. His stats are really, really good offensively. His defense is poor. So that won't carry him during a slump, which is kind of unfortunate um, maybe you want to compare it to something like a Mookie Betts uh, who has better defense and can play the infield um, so but that can come in time you know he, he can get better um, but just it's just not there his, his, his defense is not I don't know if it's going to develop in anything more but it's it, it's just not that good anyway um, figured I'd bring that up because that is something that People uh, have been talking about, and I don't know. I guess you just have to check the uh, the uh, the, uh, the stat lines and the score the score uh, score scorecards of these games. You know, like see what he's doing. He's playing really well. So I don't know if people are just hearing this negative news and they just keep saying it. But like the last three weeks, he's been he's been uh, killing it. Jumped his batting average to like forty some points. Is, that is not hard to, or not easy to do. So, 
Um, so one paper, one um, lunar in that box. Nice Soto parallel. Peyton Graham and our lunar is Leandro Arias for the Baltimore Orioles. Number 30, Orioles prospect, born in 05, young kid. Most of these guys are really, really young that are featured as first in this product. Actually, I'm going to put the Lunar here, base there. So, yeah, hopefully you guys are having some good luck with this. A um, lot of different people I follow, you know, open one box, three boxes, cases, whatever it is, you know. Some of the people that buy small amounts are getting dusted. Some of them are doing really, really well and getting super lucky and doing better than most people buy you know, you buy 10 and you you do awesome. And then it's better than some cases. So I think it all goes hand in hand when you're looking at these numbers, how the uh, these odds are calculated that they used to put on the back of the packs. Um, that's the whole entire print run. You got to factor a lot of that stuff in. And uh, all it takes is one. All it takes is one. We've got a purple paper on the back there. Nice. So back-to-back -back boxes, back-to-back -back hits. Cartea, Cartea. Oh, baby. Yeah, there we go. So, it's cool to get excited about hitting a very, very good prospect in the top five. Um, so, that's, that's great. But that's not always going to happen. So, keep in mind, it's, uh, it's all about hit potential. Hit potential. But that's a big card there. You know, for, for a blaster box, that's, that's, a, that's a big card. He's a good good prospect. He's he's up there right now. Cam Collier, another good one. And the base chrome. That's nice to see. So two boxes back to back with the paper. Rookie of the Year favorites, Nolan Gorman. Chase DeLauder and then Henry Davis. All right, here we go. Last, is this a lunar on the back? Or do we already get our lunar? Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, last pack of box number two. Gunner in the spotlight. De Jesus and Gabriel Gonzalez. Okay, so let me just straighten up here. There's two boxes down. Box number three of this five part rip. There's a refractor on the back, uh, back of Brady House on the brack. <laughs> Our Lunar is going to be Brady House, Zach Nito, Neto, Nito, is it Neto or Nito? Either way, he's been playing really well. Good defense too. Had a good series against the Indians. It's nice to be able to watch all these different teams this year. Um, not always at a game, but at least you can catch them on TV, normal teams that you wouldn't see with, uh, hang on. Unless someone just hit a solo home run. Two to one, White Sox. Gavin Sheets hit the first one. Bell doubled off the wall, I think. Scored Quan. Churio. Hey, hey, Drew Jones. There we go. Nice chrome. Drew, Drew, uh, Drew, 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 can't talk. Nicely centered chrome. Drew Jones. See if we get the paper. We've seen a lot of combo packs. Drew paper and chrome in the same box for blasters. Seen that a few times actually. Because I need a few more to finish up some sets. Some of my rips have been very, very light for the Drew Jones. Just the base cards. Um, so.
Wait, was that Gavin Sheets again? And there's the paper. So it is looking like that's the collation when it comes to these blasters. Um, the paper and the chrome. So I guess there may be a little something to it, at least with this brick. But I have seen that multiple times. And if you're on the fence about buying some product, watch videos like this and other people that post them. Get yourself a real good idea, preview in the product. We all share common interests, like minds. Nice Spencer Jones there. Um, and uh, you can usually save yourself some time and some money and let other people do the research for you. And that goes a long way. Box number four. I'll spoil the refractor on the back. Baez and KC. There we go. Henry Ramos. Born in 04. Joined the race system, uh, Royal System in 20, uh, 6 1 22. Cool. I don't know if I have that one yet. All right, moving on. Maybe we can pull an auto in this little five box rip. Uh, and I spoke too soon. What is this? Oh, it's a spotlight, right? Yeah, it's why is it back to back? Ooh, is that a green? Oh boy. Oh baby. Oh baby. Lazaro Montes. Green to 99. I don't know if you call it a color match. Col uh, blah, blah, blah. Color match. I can't talk today. I need another drink. Speaking of green, cheers. That tastes good. Wow. I've seen these spotlight. I have not. I don't, I don't think I've even seen a color being pulled. Um, wow. That's a that's a good looking good looking card with that green spotlight like that. It'd be neat if they just made these to the color match. And then put the color on here and just numbered it to whatever, 100. Just thinking outside the box and just did a hundred of them and made them a little bit more rare, kind of like those color blasts that Panini does and, you know, number them instead of, you know, just having it as a parallel um, and then eliminate the actual base ones. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, let's get back to this. Get organized. Jackson Holiday, second year. Junior Garcia. Um, I think that would be pretty neat. What do you guys think of that? You don't like my opinion? So what? All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Alcantara. Samuel Munoz. Rios. Lionel James. This and two more packs out of box number four out of five. Pretty pumped about that spotlight. Um, don't really care that who the player is. It's just uh, fun to hit something like that. That... I have not seen just yet. Always interesting and always fun to pull an insert or a parallel. But uh, something that's desirable. I don't know. I, I would assume that those are pretty desirable because everyone that I sell singles to is putting together the base set. And it's just a little bit harder to put sets together. I think there's a lot of noise here. The White Sox are eating up the Indians. Sounds like Jake Ber uh, Berger just hit a bomb. To run shot. Oh, we got a little chrome here in the middle of the pack. And uh, that boy thick. That boy thick. Nelson. My boy, Nelson. What up, Nelson? Number 11, Angels Prospect, according to Baseball America. Um, Dominican Summer League, Pro 2022 debut, 127 for 33 on steals. Okay, got a little speed. Well, you know, you're, you're going up against maybe some weak catching. Second and hits, 51. Hmm. So when was this? Um, okay, here we go. Uh, 29 prospect in the 2022 international signing class. One in 05. So Nelson Rada, I don't know, recognize even pulling him a, as a first in a base. 
I'm sure he's obviously in there, but I don't. I don't know much about him. I try to focus on if I'm buying singles, you focus on a list of players. Brock Jones, that's another good one. Um, but uh, when you pull something, and then it's fun to do a little bit of research because you have the card in hand, you, you, you're deciding what to do. Um, that wraps up box number four out of five for this five box rip. You know, you're deciding what you want to do. Do you want to sell it? Do you want to grade it? Um, do you want to sell it ungraded, etc.? There we go. But, um, well, these are just some base cards. Uh, so this would have been box four right here. Those two were the best so far. Um, and that's the thing, you know, just think about going into like a Target or Walmart and pulling a one blaster box. You just grab one off the shelf and those are your two hits. You'd be ecstatic. It's like, I'm good. Don't need to open up anymore. That's nice. And Lugo. And Lunar. I think that's pretty neat. So any any given day, you can buy one pack, one box, and do some damage. But this kind of stuff, you have to salvage. You got to sell singles. You got to sell sets. You got to do it all. You got to put the work in. Definitely a commitment when you're opening up multiple boxes of product. All right, here. Got to go through this pretty quick. We're approaching 16, 17 minutes here. First little uh, break of this series is always a little bit longer. And plus, I ramble a lot. Four to one, White Sox. Okay. Yes, and Mercedes. There's Nelson Rada again in the prospect paper. I saw that pack earlier. Those two, I believe. All right, two more packs. And then it wraps up this video. And check out parts 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Michael Harris in the spotlight. Mesa. Jonathan Mejia. Okay. Last pack. Here we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Again, check out my uh, Stadium Club Rip Full Case Blaster. Eight-part series. Five bucks rip per video and then I'm gonna do some sorting and uh, you know whenever I get around to it post part two and so on and so forth DePaula Cabrera Henry Ramos okay so this is what a blaster box is gonna look like um, you know what we'll make this one a little bit longer who cares whatever you don't like it fast forward um, prospects we'll just do a quick little just to kind of see what we're gauging on these uh, prospects, color. Base mixed up in here. Spot, so we got four, one, two, four spotlights plus one color. Sights on September, three. Our Soto color, which I did not put up there to showcase. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so four rookie of the year favorites. Color, we got the Soto. Oops, we got the green. Spotlight, pretty awesome. Nice auto, first. Good prospect. One, two, three, four, five. Five boxes, one per on the Lunars. Four base spotlights. Sights on September. Five. Nice DePaula purple to $199. And three, four, five, six, seven. So 1.25 on those per box. One, two, three, four, five. Good there. And then the, the uh, spotlights, we got four base, one parallel. So that's kind of like one per. Um, even though we did got we struck out on one box and got two in the other, and then um, Spencer Jones, Drew Jones, Drew Jones, and blah, blah. okay guys, appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, just stopping by for the first time, appreciate it. If you don't mind, give me a thumbs up. 
subscribe. Pop on those alerts if you like this kind of stuff. I do everything from vintage to modern to PSA reveals to sharing off my collection sets, set build help, um, buying collections, auction stuff, mail day reviews, anything to do with baseball cards. Um, yeah, I'm going to relax, watch a little bit of this ball game, and maybe load up another five and do another, another filming of part two. Um, after I check out some of this game and do some sorting. Key is I like to get sorting done right after so I do not get too far ahead of myself and then have this huge backlog a week later with all this product sitting here, overwhelmed and then rushing to get it out to try and move some of it. It just becomes a mess. And that is my tip for the day. And don't eat yellow snow. All right, guys. Till next time.